Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about how to install the Facebook Pixel on your website, s hook up the domain into your, your business account, and then set up the domain events also on your business account. Alright, so the, the first step of course is to get into business settings. Um, make sure that you have a business account on Facebook and not a personal account that you're using here. Uh, the problems with a personal account is that you can't like invite people or like uh, transfer your pixel out if you want to. For instance, somebody bought your company, all of a sudden you can't give them all your data. Um, and so uh, it's, it's a big problem. Make sure you create that business account. So once you got the business account set up, get into business settings and then let's install the pixel. So let's get into that. Um, the first thing is you need a pixel. So on the left hand menu here you see data sources press uh, pixels there and then if you don't have a pixel press this blue add button right up here at the top uh, and then you can just uh, you know name the pixel and then press continue and that's kind of all there is to it all right so say you already had the pixel set up the next step is to um, install it onto your your page so with if you're using my Shopify theme it's going to be really simple you just copy this uh, ID right here at the top uh, and then go into Shopify, press the uh, online store here on the left menu, and then press the green customize button. That's going to get you into the customizer. And then on the far left, you'll see here it's like a paintbrush. That's the theme settings. Uh, and then you just insert the Facebook pixel ID right here. And then it's, it's all good to go for you. That's all you need to do. But uh, if you were using a different service like a website builder like uh, ClickFunnels or uh, Lead Pages, etc., WordPress, I don't know. Um, you know, the, so you're gonna you're gonna need to install this in a, a different way. You're gonna need to grab the pixel code in most cases, uh, and so to do that, um, you're gonna go back to business settings here in the top right corner you'll see open an events manager it's this little gray button uh, and that will take you to events manager where you should see the pixel here uh, and then you scroll down in uh, under data sources here on the left menu so if you're not in data sources press data sources right okay so scroll down and then you're gonna see this button here it says add events um, press add events and then from a new website and then press in the pop-up press install the code manually so now uh, copy this code and then open up notepad or something uh, paste it right in there so this is the pixel code okay and uh, you're gonna need to copy this say like you're using click funnels or lead pages um, you're gonna need to copy this into the header with click funnels there should be a menu along the top it says you know header and then I believe and then you press like uh, tracking codes like script or something and allow you to insert the script script in Shopify um, I have a little thing here at the sec you can add a section uh, well let's uh, do a little mock-up here uh, and I'm gonna add an HTML block okay and inside this HTML block I can insert this code right here okay so this is the landing page so say somebody clicked your ad the first page they get to is your landing page and that's this code is fine to start okay now say somebody was to enter in their email address and then you get take them to a thank you page or a special offer page whatever have you you're going to need to modify this code a bit so say uh and they signed up and then they get to this page and uh you know this is like a, a vip subscription offer or whatever like say it was a, a vip reservation where they put a dollar down and they get priority shipping and stuff like that um, and access to a special community um, you're going to need to put a special code here so uh, let's add this another html block as an example go back in the notepad okay so we're going to need to modify this code you see where it says there fpq track page view i need you to copy that press enter to add a new line and paste it again Okay, so now uh, you're going to change the word page view to lead with a capital L. Uh, make sure the quotes and everything's intact, everything's the same. You just change page view to lead. All right, so you copy this, all this code, paste it right back into there. Okay, so this is like, you know, your, your special offer page. All right, so say 
you uh, you were doing a dollar down. Like they put a dollar down for a reservation, then they go a checkout, and then after they, they make the purchase for the VIP reservation, they get to a thank you page. We're gonna need to make a special code for that too. So let's go to the thank you page here where it says, you know, congrats, you're a VIP. Join our private VIP community. Um, so we're gonna need to change the code again. And this time, instead of a lead, you guessed it, it's purchase with a capital P. Uh, and make sure everything's intact. Paste that in there, boom, save it. And that's all there is to it. You install the pixel. Um, but uh, now that the pixel's installed, properly now you need to attach the domain to your business account and then uh, the third step is to set up the domain events we're going to get into that but go back to business settings and uh, scroll down a little bit more you'll find domains under brand safety and suitability uh, you'll see it right there domains okay so if you don't have the domain already added press this blue add button and create a new domain uh, so for the domain, you're not going to add the www or slashes or http or anything. It's just like not the subdomain either. It's literally just the domain name. So like for instance, yourwebsite.com. That's it. Boom. Okay. Press the blue add button. Okay. So now it's going to ask you to uh, you know verify the domain in some way. So what I need to do is press this drop down menu at the top here where it says add meta tag to your HTML source code and press uh, the third option, update the DNS TXT record with your domain registrar. We're gonna do it this way. It's the, the easiest, most stable way to do it. Um, okay, so uh, you're gonna copy this code where it says number two, follow the instructions. Uh, copy this, this little thing here Okay, and now you're gonna to need to go to your domain registrar, whether that's uh, Namecheap, GoDaddy, I use Cloudflare, okay? Um, and you're gonna to need to go into the DNS records. So for instance, if I go to Cloudflare here and uh, go into the website, and uh, I'm gonna press DNS and then records here on the left menu. Uh, if you're in using GoDaddy or Namecheap, it's going to be cPanel. It's like a special, like you know, uh, editor thing. And inside cPanel, there should be a, a, a setting uh, dashboard called um, uh, I can't quite remember, but it's it's it should be DNS or something like that. Uh, you can Google it, and they'll they'll you'll find out what it's called that way. Um, but so uh, in Cloudflare. Once you're in the DNS records here, press uh, add record. And this is going to be the same for like cPanels. It's very, very similar. Um, and you're going to change the type of record from A to a TXT record. Okay. And then for the name, it's just the at symbol. Okay. And then the TTL or time to live, we're going to set that to one minute. And then under content, we're going to post that code from uh, business settings, this thingy right here. Put that in there, okay? And then that's kind of all you gotta do, and then press save. Um, now, the time to live is set to one minute, so you just gotta wait about 60 seconds. Give it two minutes just to be safe. Uh, and then go back into business settings, and then press this green verify domain button. Uh, it should verify the domain, that, that should be all there is to it. And then uh, the next thing you gotta do is set up the domain events, okay? So go back to pixels here in business setting and then press open an events manager to get to where you need to go, events manager. Uh, alternatively, you can press this you know, left, little left menu here and go to um, events manager up here or you can scroll down there. Anyway, um, so now that you're in events manager, uh, I need you to scroll down and uh, press this next to pixel API. You see this blue thing here? It says aggregate event measurement right here. Okay, I need you to press that. And then it says this blue button, configure web events, press that. Okay, so you should see your domain in this list here. Uh, so uh, click it, press manage events. Um, okay, so I already have this set up, but let's uh, pretend it's not, okay? So I'm gonna press add event. 
and then uh, select the the pixel here. Let's let's add a second one because we need at least two of them. Uh, add the pixel again. Now the event name. So on you'll see here the priority. So this is the key here: the highest priority and the lowest priority. The lowest priority is the lead, and then the highest priority is the uh, purchase. Okay. Uh, if you if you're tracking uh, like you know uh, add to carts as well for any reason. Uh, you would add uh, add to cart in the middle. Okay, so basically what this what this means is that um, you can only attribute one event to a person at a time, and so like you know as they become a lead, then they're lead. If they make a purchase, then lead gets overwritten with purchase. Okay, so that's kind of how it works. So you want to set lead to lowest priority at the bottom, and purchase at the top. Okay, and that's uh, then you press apply. And now everything's set up. You're, you're good to go to, into setting up your ad campaign. In the next video, I can uh, whether you're doing a pre-launch campaign or you're setting up your, your ads for your live campaign, uh, for like a live Kickstarter campaign, I got video on retargeting ads and like, you know, regular ads. Um, but then you go, you know, the left menu here, the three lines, and then go to ads manager and set all that jazz up. Okay, so um, I hope you learned something. And I wish you a wonderful day. Take care. Have, yeah.